Yes. Whoa! Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. Ah, oh, this is a pretty special day for me, and obviously it's not Tuesday night. Don't don't call in and say, hey, hey, Bonchick, how you doing, sweetie? I love you. Cannot Hi, wait to meet her. Do you know her? I've never met her. I'm just joking with you. I played her a lot. I played a lot with her in the East Coast. Oh. She's amazing. Who, who are you? Who are you? Who is what? Well, some guy just came and sat next to me. What's on my chest? What's going on right it's here? It's on my yeah. chest. Can't yeah. you see that? Reaper? Yeah. It's like, hey, how are you? I'm doing great, man. You know, and like I said, this is a special day for me today because, you know, I've been talking to this guy for a long time. He, he's put down his show a while back, and I had just a terrific time with him. So, uh, please, everybody. Be nice to Mr. David Justin, a.k.a. The Reaper. Oh, oh me, this me, guy is so cool. Well, oh, you got me shaking, man. Let me, I'm let so me correct you. Let me correct you. Sure. Okay, first off, okay, you got to take off the the part. You know why? Let me explain to you why. Because I'm not claiming to be the Reaper. I'm just Reaper, right? There's there's Jason Mann. He's in, he's in North Carolina. There's Lo, uh, Mr. Robo C's in, in Texas. When you say The Reaper... No. Ask, let, let me ask you a question. Uh, you know, how, how often are they on podcasts? They're not. But You're the reaper then. No, 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 I try no. I try to give the players. They, 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 he's like, just afraid. He's just afraid the other two reapers the other two reapers are gonna come and reap them. So, oh, you know. that's very funny. They're gonna reap no, I actually I'm really big about the players and I'm really big about elevating them. So I'm never like uh I sleep on their couches. I've had them in my hotels if they need a place to stay. I'm not the oh, I'm just reaper. I see. I'm just reaper. I got it. So nice that's see. why. Nice to see you. Yeah, very great. You know, Dude. I've been I've been wanting to do this for a long, I'm long time. I'm a big time, fan so of yours. It's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of yours. Oh, too, you're, oh, so, you're you making know, me blush. We, we crack, you guys, we practice that. No wonder it's so cold out here with all these fans. Dude, so, huh? very funny. <laughs> look, look how big of a fan I am. Look at this. Oh Check my this gosh, out. who is that? That's Brass Eagle yeah, with his you know, balls, right? I, I just gave him that. Look I at that. You see that? That's Fred Schultz back in 1982, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Whatever. 96, maybe. Whatever. Anyway, so dude. Who cares? <laughs> I love it. No, we're, we're down here at Gladiator Paintball, and this is uh, in game two. And I got to tell you, great, great bunch of people down here right now. And David and I are going to start bringing some of them over in a little while. They're out there banging away right now, as you can probably hear. Um, but when they start coming in, um, we are definitely going to bring some in. Did I talk to you about my new sponsor? Hey, look at that. What a segue. Look at that. John Paul from Critical. Do you guys know Critical Paintball? He's now the CEO of uh, this amazing company, Cascade. I've taken this to North Carolina. If you guys like tequila, Fred doesn't drink. I don't drink. Um, so uh, not even water. I don't know how he's like, anyway. That's so, why I'm so you guys go check it out. I've been giving this to all the players and they can try it too. It's amazing. Anyway, so uh, hey. Bonchik, wait, Bonchik. She's a doll. Wait, oh. Bonchik, weren't you, in, weren't you in North Carolina with us? He's trying to be humble. Let him be humble. Wait, See? He's trying See? to be humble. Let, yeah. Which one? Which one? Because I'm not. Oh, no. I can't even spell it. No, you're, you're humble. <laughs> yeah, oh, my even, God. I can't even spell oh, that. Oh, my God. My spelling is so bad. Humble is not you, you know. And out in the field, hey, let's bring up Kiko, man. What's going on, buddy? Oh, look who that is. Hey, you have face familiar. Can it's the Dark Forces. Hello. Dark Forces. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, we can hear you, man. We got some of the, um, the clowns, the psycho clowns coming off the field right now. As a matter of fact, I believe uh, that is the captain. That's Dave O'Dell. Yeah, Dave yeah. O'Dell. Yeah. I can't wait. Why can't we hear you? Yeah. We can hear it. Sounds like there's a riot right here. Where you at, Kiko? I'm over here at the, uh, the uh, registration booth. As you oh, can see in the background. That's the owner right there, too. We're going to have him on in a little while, right? Little series, first time player, get ready to go out on the field. Come out and see if you're a gladiator. Um, yeah, absolutely. We're going to be talking gladiator for you all. Hey, everybody. Hey, right, everybody. Uh, this is, uh, oh, here we go. This is Dave O'Dell. He's one of the uh, captains of the clowns. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and the cycle clowns, you know, you guys are mostly from down in the L.A. area. Yes. Yeah. L.A., Texas, and uh, uh, at this point, Indiana, too. Right. And Arizona. Oh, wow. So it's You growing. guys are spreading out, huh? It's happening. Yeah, you know, the first one of you guys I met was uh, Gumby. And uh, Gumby came, when I first got back into paintball a couple of years ago, Gumby came to the north-south game up north, right? And I went out there, and I hadn't used my automag in, what, 20-some years. So obviously, it was a little stiff. They were so stiff, they couldn't get it apart. But big long story short, Gumby worked on it for two hours. They gave me another marker to go play with. He, him and Roman. I don't know if you know Roman. Not sure. Yeah, those two guys worked on it for two hours. 
why was out there playing paintball? And I got to say, I got nothing but respect for him. And then, then he, he took and he went to the um, big game that we just had back in Illinois at the casino. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. You can get that one next year. You're going to want to do it. We'll be there. Yeah, I mean, the, the game was fun. The field is cool. The owner is cool. But the people there were just oh. absolutely fantastic. Yeah, you know, uh, to me, anywhere I go, it's about the people. Am I right? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. No, I'm, yeah right on, David. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate well, it. Of course, Remember, you and I only both... talk with your hands. No, no, no. This is great. We know that. We know talk. that wherever you show up, you're for the people. You're for the players. Absolutely. Like me, right? So are you, though. That's what I like. Not, and these okay. guys here, you know, I mean, how cool are they? He's amazing. Yeah, I've, I've known this guy and his kid. His kid was like, right? Hubbles was just like, and, and they've been to Chicago with me. They've been all over the place. There. We're going to be at uh, Lynn's event next week, right? Yep. Okay, so uh, next, you guys, next Sunday is Lynn's, yes. yep. Lynn's event. Um, and, uh, Charity event, it's worth it. Make sure you show up. You guys show up. Yeah, awesome absolutely. game, awesome people. There's going to be a big, there's going to be a huge pig. I mean, sorry, David. I'm sorry. There is a pig. Uh, he's joking. Uh, there's going to be a huge pig. They're going to do like a luau and That's a buffet. Have, no and, a, and, and a buffet. It's just going to be amazing. And all the old school guys are there, right? Everybody, yeah. Just well, you know, I've been talking about about that now for a few weeks on my show also. Um, really? But, oh, absolutely. I think you, the way that he yeah. drives, he should start driving now, right? It took him like 18 hours to get here. It takes a three-hour <laughs> drive. And it's only 23 miles. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. You need, start, you need to start hey, driving in now. LA too. Everywhere I go, I surround it, then I come in, okay. you know? There you, you go. You know, come on. It is a piece of cake. So how long have you been playing paintball? That's my first question I ask everybody that's on the show. I started in 1984. 1984. Uh, mom got me a paintball gun. I asked for a laser tag. Mom got me a paintball gun by accident, I guess. But as soon as we went outside, we shot the bark off a tree. Because remember the spring that you had to cut on the PMI one yeah. or whatever? Yeah. We shot the bark off a tree, and it was, you know, still, yeah, well, and we're still shooting bark off trees. So here we are. Nice. You know? Right on. So, who, who actually started the Now, uh, it was started by Rockzilla. He was our founder, and he's the uh, he's also on the back of all of our jerseys. And he started back in '03. Yeah, everybody wears his name on it. Um, oh, very cool. Yeah, he started the, the clowns in uh, '03. Three, I believe. I mean, I wasn't around, you know, a clown in those days. But yeah, he was killed. He was murdered. They still don't know who it is till today. So we don't change very much. So what, basically, where he had the team and what he, you know, what how he had it set up, right. we're just we're just running with it. We're just you know, yeah. standing on somebody else's shoulders uh, at this point. Yeah, but you know what you do is you try to you try to build paintball. Oh know? yeah. Because I, I know a few of you guys. I don't know a bad one. You know, you're all cool. And I, I love the uniforms. You know oh, what I mean? Thank you. These guys can hide out in any <laughs> urban area where there is. You can't sides. see me. You can't see. You know? me. I'm not yeah. here. I'm telling you. I just blend in to all the circuses. <laughs> all the circuses. And that's what this that's is. That's how you get in free. I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> not oh, always. Not man, always. I had this exploded. Thank you, David. That was so cool. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing with your nephews. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. cousins. cousins. Cousins are here from uh, Los Angeles. I've been playing with them all day and having a blast. You guys are amazing. Really, you guys are amazing. Dave is super cool. He's just an amazing oh, guy. Thank you. And he's a. Uh, He's really into helping the young players too. Oh, yep. That's fantastic. If, if you have kids and you're around us, come. You know, we have we have lots of kids that play with us. Come right. around, ask us anything, start hanging with us. Yep. yep. You know. Yep. We're, you know, it's I very easy very, to do. Very pushable. I, I push it big time. You know, I got Jamie Conley. He's back east. I got Mark going up. I were at with the Hermans. Uh, all of these guys are working on the kids thing. Because, you know, that's the whole ticket with building the sport. You know, these guys are our future. Oh, yeah. You know, we're here now. That's cool. But we're not going to be the future. The kids are I was the watching future. all the little guys do jelly ball them. right now. Oh, God. That's fun. And, to watch. If you never watch a jelly ball game, you got to watch a jelly great. ball game. And right. you should see some of these kids play. They yeah. are absolutely They're going to be amazing. good. Oh, I know. Oh, my gosh. Just are uh, you, uh, tremendously You partake cool. in the adult beverages? I could probably try a little bit of that if you okay, want to. Here we go, you guys. Listen. So this is you're seeing it on, on <laughs> air live. We didn't rehearse this. So it's like uh, improv. Improv. You can be able to uh, try this out. This is uh, Cascades. It's uh, a guavi and um, mineral are the water. There's nothing else added. And uh, we'll just give it a try. This. Go. All right. Salute. This, this, Salute. This is a David Justin commercial for one of his sponsors right there. We go. There we go. Um, you know, I would love to have my sponsors here, but my, my sponsors are Chili Dog guys. So, you know, and I, oh, I love Chili Dog. We'll bring one of our clown shot glasses over next time. 
Okay. How you was just, it? No, that's really good. Okay. That's good. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Good. Good, right? Wow. Hey guys, I just got off the field. Bye. Play paintball. Thank you. All you got to do. Thank you. And I'll see you. We'll see you guys soon. Sound casino. Sound casino. We'll see you next week. Next week, next Sunday. Hurrah. I'll see you here. There you go. Yeah, talk a little bit about that because, you know, Lynn, uh, I've been talking about that. And she approached me actually up in Thurfield, California a couple of months ago. She was up there talking about, uh, you know, it's a strange kind of a thing. You know, they, they take kids and uh, that have been abandoned, right. you know, uh, no names, nothing. They give them a, a, a casket yeah, and a yeah. burial and everything like that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so basically Lynn... Um, has been doing this, I think, since 2011. She's part of the Hitmen. I, I don't know if you guys know the LA Hitmen, but she's with the Hitmen. And basically, every this this December, um, they they do it at this place called Paris, not Texas, not not uh, not Paris, France, but it's Paris, California. And it's a big game. And uh, it's 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 you know what? It's partly a big game and partly just a hangout because. All of these old OG players come and they just hang out and things yep. like this. Very but there's cool. just uh, it's a raffle. There's a lot of money. She raises a lot of money for a lot of different people. So if you guys can, uh, yeah, she's check a good out. lady too. Yeah, she really she's is. amazing. You know, uh, Ryan Courtney just jumped in. You know, Ryan Courtney is uh, I can't say enough about this guy. You know, he he's another one of the guys I talk about that's good for people. You know, uh, people who watch our shows. You know, I, I don't say they're good for people because they watch our shows. I say it because they have enough interest in it to want to learn more and, you know and your your some of your shows are informative some of my shows right. are informative right, you know right, right you know we kid around we joke around all but time. it's still all about paintball i think so i think it's great i let me see let me see how much trouble i can get into here um okay so, Nick, Nick. <laughs> so um i've been uh, in the sport since 2008 and uh i've always been doing like not just the player stuff but other things and in 2014, I started actually doing a radio show. We had like before, before we had video. Right. And uh, the radio show was, again, it was about the community. We helped uh, uh, raise money. I created a thing called the NSA, a not so silent auction. We raised money and stuff. So when we did the video show starting last year, uh, we basically were able to elaborate on this. And here's the thing. There's a lot of people now doing video shows. We've seen them all over the place. And Fred and I are trying to go out of our way to create a community with our community. We're trying to actually bring people on, give out the links. Now, I've seen some shows who were kind of, uh, how do I say this? Uh, you just said it. They're not so into the community part, and they're into them. They're trying to make their, themselves a... Uh, uh, whatever anyway so the point i'm trying to make is is that when you can get someone like fred to come over and say hey this is what this is this is about the 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 uh the, come around over the, here the community here's, watch your show this is one of the young guns right here man how you doing i'm good, good. Dude, don't what's you your name any money this guy owes me money don't how much money everybody you owes him money don't worry about them what a coincidence yeah. tell me brother or what's going to cheat him out of it you know, okay do you realize <laughs> no. this is my me, i brought him you did? Yeah, this is actually, this is my cousin's best friend. Oh, what's your name? Jake. I'm Fred. Glad to meet you. How long have you been playing paintball? Mm, well, I started when I was like a couple years ago, but then I actually got into studying all my own stuff. Like, last, no, some beginning of last, beginning of this year. Oh, is that right? Did she, did she help you out? Did she teach you? Not okay, here comes another young gun. Come on over here, man. Let's this, get some of these young guns in this? here. Who's okay. this? What's your What's name? What's up, Easton? Stop. Hey, jump in so, here a little bit, man. So, Easton. There you go, just like that, guys. Oh, look, it says Ghost Crew. Well, they're representing the Ghost Crew. There you go. Oh, I love it. So, love Easton, it. Easton here is my cousin. Um, he's been playing for six months, and this is Jake, his best friend. And they basically have been going every weekend with me to all the, the, the parks to play. Uh, they actually went with me, he went with me to Chicago. We, we played at Paintball Explosion in Chicago. Oh, cool. It was his first. Big game in his first road trip. This is his second road trip out, and he's having a great time. And, uh, dude, you guys are killing it. You guys, you guys having a good time today? Is yeah, it cool? it's amazing. Is it cool it's so it is? Pretty cool feel, though, huh? Yeah. Did you guys just win this one, or what? Uh, it's not over. I just left because I, I brought a, I, there was no response, and I got out. Uh, and then I, I couldn't find it. I saw the box. I'm like, did it get stolen? 
No one's gonna steal your. Hey, do you guys want to try this? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, oh, this will make the game go great. Right yeah, on, right on. Anyhow, this is what I when I talk about the future. This is what I'm talking about. Is these guys right here, man. So yeah. uh, they're gonna carry the torch. So what happened was. Um, when Easton came out for the first time, he looked like a farmer. He had like a, a overalls and everything like this. And he didn't, his dad was like, I don't know about this thing. And then you saw it in his face when he got shot when he started playing. And then he texted me about like a day later and he goes, Hey, when are we going out again? Yeah, and there was, you go. That was it, right? All you farmers out there, we'll give you David Justin's address when we're done. Just, yeah. No, actually. And then so he went from a zero to a hero. We took him to a paint, critical paintball and we spent like three thousand dollars and we got him a gun we got him clothes we got him all this stuff and uh what are you shooting uh, i'm shooting well the first gun i got was a die rise czr and then it was, it was really good just uh wanted an upgrade so i got the planet eclipse 170r with the spire five no, no. Do you hear what he just said? My first gun. Yeah. He's only been in for six months, yeah. and he's at three guns. Right? How many you have? Yeah. A plus. Okay. What are you shooting? Uh, well, I'm. I have a mini, but I'm using his KPC right now. Oh yeah. Oh, you're using a pump? Yeah. Nice. Oh, very, very cool. cool. I was like, I had the ratchet, and I just kept it running up, and then I got this one. Yeah, the water. What's uh? What's what color is this? What do you mean? What color is this on your shirt? What's this white stuff? Oh, first strike round. Dude, I have first strike, first strike round rounds, right? It. Those babies hurt out here. Dude, first strikes, right? <laughs> You're getting whacked by first strikes. Wow. Well, so, guys, I just got whacked. In the appreciate very much you guys stopping Thank by. You. It's very cool. You guys, go have yeah, a good it's, time. It's, huh? Yeah, it's great seeing you guys again. Yeah. Do we open the next one? I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm trying to do some meeting here. Hey, go away, kid. You bother me. We're going to go in the next one. <laughs> okay. Bye. I bet you hear that all the time, don't you? <laughs> Oh, I mean, I bet you say that all the time. Oh, I'm sorry. Get off my lawn. I, probably either. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Um, so. You know, one of your fans, um, we were doing a, a show. Uh, I was on your show. And yep. uh, one of your fans, because uh, I, I said I was going to challenge you to a pistol match, right? Yeah. And he said, he's going to kick your ass. You don't know who this guy is. He's been blah, blah. And I'm like, calm down. <laughs> We're on the same team. We're friends. What are you doing? Yeah, he got us on ESPN. He really? got us on Disney. I'm like, I know. I'm trying to be with, like, what are you doing? Don't get so mad at me. <laughs> Absolutely. Here. How's it going out there? Wonderful. Where's, where's Wonderful. the pain? Awesome. Is it? Oh, yeah. Winning or losing? Always Wait, win. That's the box. You guys I box. love it. I, no paint. I love it. Do you want to you want to get another box so and then uh, everybody? Uh, okay? Dave is not used to going live like this, you know. He, I'm trying to, I'm he trying gets, to handle business here. He, he, he gets distracted. Yeah, selling Listen, the kid paint. What's yeah, wrong with yeah. you? So hey, come here real quick. So come around go, here. Go tell Bobby. No, to keep your outfit on. Keep it on. Yeah. yeah. Tell her that Reaper needs. And you don't have to put it on. Just just that. Come on around here. Not here, but you're gonna pay for it. Okay, when she gets here. Okay. Come right in between us here. Get the graffiti. Look at, look at this. Look at this kid here. Hey, what's up, brother? Now nice this is my buddy Gumby's son, correct? Yep. That would and be your pokey. name is? Oh, yeah. Would you be Pokey? Gumby and Pokey? No, Pokey is one of his guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So how long have you been playing paintball? Um, so I think it was 2016. My dad threw me in. My brother. Speaking of your dad. Yeah. My yeah. dad threw me in while I was eight. Uh, that's the noise. Hey, hey, you hey, you got to come back. Lost I'll be back. back. Yeah, okay, right on. Gumby, come around here. So, what, you're eight years old? You know, you can't play with me. He comes up to me and he goes, Yeah, he says, I, I'm, I'm Gumby's son. And I'm looking up at him. I'm like, <laughs> I had to look to see if I was standing in a hole. I'm like, What's going on over here? Gumby, you know you can't play eight years old. What are you doing sending this kid out here? Come on. <laughs> Look at his outfit. The outfit is outstanding. Uh, you're thank you. Who are you? So your dad, I'm just the flag. Obviously, your dad got you started in this. Yes. You did. Yeah. Because I've got to uh, play paintball with your dad here, and he's uh, a pretty good guy. He's a psycho clown, though. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. He deserves the time. <laughs> oh, oh, we gotta go home with him now. <laughs> Dad knows you. Yeah. Oh, we love it. So, what's, what's, what are you doing here? Yeah. You're the uh, general or the. You're... I'm the general of the Anubis Anarchy Army here to free.
the serum that is necessary to cure the world's population from the greedy hands of the Templar. You couldn't remember that? Dude, You're weak. Dude. Weak. I couldn't remember dude, that. I don't understand. I, I was just going to say that. Dude. I don't understand. I'm on the red side. Are you on the, are you on the, are you on the 50 or are you on the Dorito or what the fuck? Oh, no, this is not speedball. Oh, I forgot. It's not speedball. This is a, they have, they're have. they so in-depth about what they do, right? Yeah. Very, he's, he's, a, he's a good guy. He gets a little confused. You get confused. I'm getting yeah, old. Yeah, I'm, getting I'm getting old. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's just not for hey, uh, says, where am I? Do you, uh, do you, do you, do you partake in the, uh, in the adult beverages? Okay. This is uh, one of my go. sponsors. This is a tequila show here. This is one of my sponsors. And Kathy actually, Alvarez is you know, watching. You know, What's going you know, on, Kathy? People? Yes. This is, this, this is their, their, this, he's the CEO of this. this is, uh, I got Kiko with me. Let me bring Kiko up and see what he's got going on out there. Kiko, man. Well, top story of the day. There, I'm out here. Did you know they got a hatchet throwing thing here where you can throw hatchets? Get me in trouble. You know what? They got a hatchet good. throwing thing. That's what I heard, too. How is that? Is I, that have good? you tried it yet? Yeah, it'll get me in trouble. All right. <laughs> Check that out. Axe throwing. Got to have well, they, got axe, they got axe yeah. throwing, right? Yep. yep. That's amazing. Yeah? A, a double dog there, you Fred, to an axe off. Oh, and that oh, guy oh, next oh, to you. Oh, you, you know, the guy. I don't back you don't want to. Like that. Chop, you don't chop, want slice, that. slice. Yeah, I was a lumberjack back in the 20s, pal. That's right. I cut down the cherry hey. trees. Hey. Yeah, they, My whole body's a lethal like weapon. Yeah, See I that? that Dicing and slicing. Wow. <laughs> so they got a, yeah, they got the axe throwing thing. This is a cool right. setup. Look at this. this uh, I, I got to come over and check that out. This this park is. They said anybody but you. Yeah. This is a. This is actually an entertainment park. They have, uh, they have uh, 14 acres. 14 acres of, of paper. I think it's 10. Whatever. And then they have, uh, they have the jelly ball. And then they have uh, uh, airsoft. And they have axe throwing. And they have, uh, full, they have a bar. And a, uh, what else is it? They have, bouncy house. Yeah, bouncy house. Sitting oh, on I the gotta job. Try that. I gotta try the bouncy oh, house. Oh, man. Iron Man Challenge. Also. They've got the, the Greg Hastings. We've got the Greg Hastings time trials here. This is this place is amazing. This is in the central coast, San Luis Obispo. Oh man, that's Kenny Stewart watching right now. <laughs> yeah, Kenny this Stewart. Is, uh, you guys, very, very cool. Oh my God, guys, I'm good. How are you? Nice to see you, Bubbles. How are you? I'm pretty all right. Fantastic, yeah, Bubbles. Who is your dad? Oh, the clown. Oh, the clown. You just you just met him. He was just here. Have you met? Have you met? Uh, this is Bubbles. This is Rojo. This is Dave O'Dell's daughter. How are you doing? Which guy's birthday is it? Whose birthday? Uh, we got... All right, we we'll will get this. Oh, in wow. Chicago, in, uh, the, We're doing a live stream. This is going everywhere. She probably protects you. Dude, she does. That's what we were talking to that one guy. She says, quit crying, Reaper. Move up. Hey, Fred. That's what you said. That's what you said, too. Same thing about you. Fred, Fred. Fred, 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 yeah, there you go. That's it. Fred, can you hear me? We got this guy's birthday party right here. What's your name? Whose birthday is it? You can pull your man, Lucas. Lucas, come on, we'll see that. And crowd, you having a good birthday? Yeah, you're playing paintball. How old are you? I'm 13 now. 13 now. Lucas is 13, he's got his whole. Lucas, blink your eyes yeah. if you're okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nico, ask, yeah. Nico, ask him how long yeah. is, is this his first time or has he played Can before? You hear? Uh, I played before. You played before? Yes. So this, your, your mom bring you out for your birthday party here? <laughs> yeah. Well, how cool is that, man? You're going to owe her now because that's pretty cool bringing all your buddies what you out. Yeah. So what it's fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Calm down. Yes, you, you know, you, 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 can, you can smile. There you go. That's better. Much better. Right on. Well, you know what? Happy birthday. Uh, you know, this is a great place to do it. You're out here. Birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Very cool. It's your birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. I can see you from where I am. I'm waving. Can you see me? Is he offering you money? No. Right on, guys. Will you have a happy birthday? Give me a hundred dollar bill. I will. All right, Kiko. Oh. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. It's a magic finger, dude. Yeah, I'm telling you. I love yeah. this. Yeah. We have the same yeah. setup. This is amazing. This streamyard is amazing. I'm powered. I got to tell you. Dude, I'm serious. You got yeah. the big. You got the big microphone. I, I do. 
Oh, yeah, the, yeah. I got the headset. Um, yeah. So you guys having a good time? Yeah, I'm great Have time. you played here before? Uh, no, actually. I was here. Oh, it's the first time? Year. Oh, really? I was here two weeks ago. Nice. <laughs> two weeks ago. How far do you live from here? Five and a half hours. Oh, oh you're, you're, he lives in San Pedro. Do you know where San Pedro oh, is? No, I live in Ontario. Yeah, it's down south. Or whatever. Yeah, anyway, it's down south. You know, it's pretty close. I thought you were in San Pedro. Didn't no, I worked a lot in San Pedro. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I live about five hours from here. Dude, you live, what, three hours and it took you eight hours to get here? No, I live here four hours and it only took me seven and a half. Dude, I look on the map, it looks like it's all downhill. What happened? Uh, well, you know, the downhill stuff isn't that best. You kind of coast right by it sometimes, man. Oh, my you know, God, I gotta, dude, come on. You know, I like the uphill it, stuff. You know, that you? way I'm going slower. Was it you or the driver? How did you get lost? Oh, I had a... Never mind. I'm just a wheel man. I had a navigator. Okay. All a right. navigator. Hey, man, just keep going, you know. And then it. when I finally woke up, you know, he goes, hey, you're still scared. I go, yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it, you know. And he goes, well, we're 20 miles past it now, so. Wow, yeah, dude. But he lied. We were 35 miles past. You actually passed it? Oh, actually. You went to Rory Brandy, Santa Maria? Did I lie to you? Lie to you about oh, no. Yeah. Because it's bound to come out if I don't say it. Dude, Am I right? you're amazing. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, so you guys, listen. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much for coming out. I want to grab this guy, this guy here. This is a shirt. Sure grab him in a minute. Sure is, yeah. yeah. sure give me a headache. Huh? This guy sure is giving me a headache. Oh, my oh, other boy. This guy's staring at you. Oh, here. <laughs> Jump in here. Over here. Look at this. Oh, we got a great group here. Look at this. So wait, how many? Oh no, I'm not pushing company out now. Three boys. Come on, yummy, come on, yummy. Three boys, and I don't make them small either. Ah! Good thing to act. I miss. I miss. Okay. So, so how long has Gumby? How long have you been on the uh, in the clowns? Maybe a year and a half. Seriously. Okay. And then uh, you and your dad have been in for like eight years. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, my dad has been here, obviously not for eight years. He's been here way longer than eight years, I would say. But I have, however, uh -huh. since I was nine. I remember playing at a field of fire you know, around New Hall, where I live at. What field do you mostly play at? Uh, kind of wherever at this point. Uh, you know, it's kind of a gamble, honestly. Got it. Cool. Gamble? Listen, you give gamble. Like, Jim, listen. Uh, real quick, everybody, I got Mr. Tim hey. Sloss, uh, Tiger Stripe Camouflage on the phone right here. I got Gumby right here. You remember this guy? Oh, <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. You make me, you make me blush. <laughs> oh, is that right? The, the Gumby Field? That's that's the marsh area, right? <laughs> that's fine by me. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Mean Gene's over here He's too. Over there. We gotta get him. Over we, here. we gotta drag Mean Gene over because he wants oh to say hi God. to you. Mean, mean Gene is like okay in my book. Nice. Yeah. yeah. You still out the field? Yeah, I'm closer I'm coming back as soon as I can. I, I tell everybody what a great time I had there a couple of weeks ago, man. Oh wow! Yeah, I don't even think it's sixty degrees here. Oh, look at, I got look at there's this cute girl over here. She's got shorts on. I look shiver every time I look at her. Look at this! Look at this! Gene doesn't have to even bend down. What's yeah. up, buddy? Hey, I know I know you can't get on your computer because you're working hard right now. But I got Mean Gene right here. What's happening? What's going on, brother? Another day of paintball. Oh, right. no, I'm going to be there for sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get the band. We'll get the band. We'll get the band. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. You got to get right? Right. Uh, oh, when that oh, works. I love it. <laughs> you should have been out here today. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, now. I, I was at the field. What was I there a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago? Yeah, about two weeks. Ago. Yeah, man, we went out there. It was packed. Hey, how many pictures do you think I took out there? Oh, yeah, it was a lot. It was. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a field in California or Tim's field. A Tim's field. I, I flew back there. Yeah, I had a great time. No doubt about it, man. 
We'll get you back, Kim. We'll right. get you back, Kim. With Gene, we'll get you back, Kim. With Kelly and all the other good guys, man. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I can't wait. And Kim, you know, Excuse me. we all love you, buddy. I want you to know that. Uh, uh, I tell you what. I, I, I can't yeah. express how much I feel. You, you guys are just, you know, like family. I mean, everybody just, I just love everybody, man. I'm having more fun than I've ever had. Well, <laughs> we wish that you were out here right now. I got to tell you, because I got a, I got a group behind me that just doesn't quit. I wish you could, uh, I wish you had your computer there so you could see these Red guys. Red team rules. <laughs> well, what I'll do when I get home, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out, I'll get it, and I'll watch it, man. But, that's awfully nice of you thinking about us. Oh, I always think about you. You know that. Uh, <laughs> Is it check in the mail? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not just one, though, too. <laughs> right on. Well, hey, how many guys, uh, guys clown outfit on? Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm here with a bunch of clowns. They are. Hey, some, hey. some of them are dressed. Some of them are in black. You know, it's, oh, uh, it's a dress. That's, what a great, what a great, what is that? I don't know. I thought you were on the wagon. I'm no, loving no, it, man. I'm uh, right? 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 Beer wagon. Like beer wagon. No, this is, you guys, this is something uh, special. Uh, yeah? Yeah? You got it, Tim. You, you take it easy, buddy. Hi, Tim. This is his company. All right, everybody, that was Mr. Tim Schloss. And Tiger Stripe Camel back in the day, and now we have Gateway Paintball. In oh, St. Louis, about yeah, six yeah, minutes yeah, from the yeah, airport. Yeah, very, very yeah, cool. Right? So, you know, that, that's why I was afraid to have David Justin <laughs> on, on my show. I, I, I was afraid oh God, to have him on my show because yeah, look of the look thing that. that he has. You guys, uh, guys, look at you guys. All right, cool. Hey, Lahaya. There you go. All right. Um, so, so the red team won? Red team won. You want a red team? No. I love you, brother. Don't do that. I still love you. I still love you. It's all good. Oh, man. This is Todd, by the way, everybody. This is one of the big guys in the PBSL out here in uh, Southern California. And uh, everybody knows I love the PBSL. As a matter of fact, this is where I got the shirt from this guy right here. So, yeah. This is the unknown comics. Granddaughter? Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know the unknown comic from the show. Well, that's your granddaughter. I don't even drink. Oh, how are you? This is my one of my sponsors. Oh my god, uh, I love it. Uh, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> They're good stuff, right? Tequila. Did you come up here with yeah, your dad? Right, right. Yeah, with my dad. Okay, so, so, okay. Okay. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, oh, really? You, you can take that off. What is it? Tequila. You're good. Yeah. I'm thinking like half a shot. Half a shot. Half a shot. Look at that. It's a half a shot. Look at that tiny little. Yeah, I'll give Martin Martin Rambo. Rambo. Would, would look his best in that, I would think. Yeah. Yeah. A drastic improvement. I'm telling you, yeah. All right. No doubt about it. All right. No worries. Well, that's what I have with Peter. Listen, look at this. This is your barbecue. How are you doing? I'm here. Okay, I need to get a picture. Come on in. Jump in here. Come on in, Todd, don't think you're going to run. I want Todd to sit in here. Todd, Todd's man. Todd, I've had Todd on my show. Todd is... uh Extremely entertaining. Who else? Who, who's this? Kind of upstages me, but I can take that. I'm, I'm a tough guy. Hey. So, <laughs> you know. Cheers, everybody. So how long have you been playing? Hey, I've asked you, ask you that on the show before, but I want to ask you now, buddy. How long have you been playing? Hey, hey play more PBSL, right? I've been. Yeah. Hey, I've been yeah. my when boy here. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right, um, go. Well, we started it at Field of Fire in about two hey, And Dennis. Yeah. Uh, Dennis is here too. I'll get him to come over and oh, say hi. Dennis! Nice. Yeah, absolutely. And um, Smooth. at one point he decided he wanted to stop, and I was just a player. And he's like, You have to take over and do it, Todd. I'm giving it to you. So I took over from that point, which has been about four years now. You're doing a good job. Well, where's my paperwork? And, and I know this is the PBSL. I love the PBSL. I, I, I like it. Right? You know, you guys are the most helpful. You've been working yeah, really hard, and I see the uh, PBSL building. I really do. I so see more and more people so wanting to get into it. This is, uh, and, well, you know, I love the format. But he's uh, is the still tournament the, the you guys do. Tell the viewers real quick some of the format, how you do it. Well, most of the stuff is just a random random format. This is Dennis. This is the guy who invented PBSL right here. That's crazy, right? And so the way we do it is, you know, everyone signs up ahead of time, and then we draw random teams with playing cards. And I usually do the the draw at night, and that's why we have, you know, the playing cards as our 
logo is because uh, originally we did it at the field, but um, we uh, we switched it to do it online after because there's so many people that sign up that we can get it going and get your team organized a few days before the event so people have a couple days to chat with each other. But the beauty is you get to meet new people and play with like some new guys and um, you know hopefully make new friends. You know, that's what's cool. Very first time I got to do it, you know, when I first even heard about it, I seen the card thing, and that's exactly what I thought was, you don't know who you, who's going to be on your team. So you're obviously you're meeting new people because a lot of people were there that know each other but from the drama you work out just perfect. And I, I noticed it's good stuff in Northern California now. Everybody had a great time. Uh, Sam Weiber is in front of you. You know Sam? Buds. Yeah, Jar. Jar, he talks about you all the time. And it's all good. Good stuff. Yeah, it's, all, it's all good. Who's like, 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 standing there at the small shot glass now? You got it? Come on here. Steven Delgado. What's going on? How you doing? So, pretty much, uh, pretty much, <laughs> baby saw I met a lot of amazing people. You, get a second. you, get a second. Uh, you know, I met Dennis and Todd and, and a lot of teams out there. And it pretty much it develops you to be a good player and it gets you into tournament. And it is, you know, a great. Well, it's a great venue, is yeah. what it is. Yeah, I'll plug it back in now, David. Seeing you're quiet. Oh, thank you. It's all good. Oh, you muted me. I, I, couldn't, over there, huh? I couldn't hear him. That's okay. Yeah, I couldn't hear these guys. Uh, it, you, I just plugged it in. You haven't been on since the beginning of the show. I don't mind. I don't oh, care. Well. I, I read lips. <laughs> hey, that's what, that's what, hey, that's, that's what my wife's gynecologist said. Oh, is that right? He, he reads lips, and we're like, all right. Oh, all all right. Well, fish. Yeah, I hear he's not right. the best, but he's right up in there. There you go. Okay. Anyhow. Listen, um, do you know who this is behind me? I do not. Okay, this is Dave. Dave actually created the park. Oh, really? And he sold it. Oh, hey, Dave. 15 years ago. He wow. actually Fred Schultz. Dave hey, Fred. Glad to meet you. Glad to meet you, sir. Um, you created this? Yeah, I sold it to Bobby and Tracy uh, two years. Or February would be two years. Yeah, great, 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 great right? park. What's yeah. that? Great setup. Right? Thank you. Right? Yeah, and these guys do a great job on it too. Yeah, improving it, you know, taking it to other levels. Yeah, they seem pretty cool. But it, you know, the park itself is it's laid out very, very cool. Thank you know, you, you know, you, you don't need a thousand acres to do no, something don't. cool. No, you don't. You know, as long as it like you got it right here. At, what is this? Ten acres, I believe. Ten and a half. Uh -huh. Ten and a half acres. Uh, See, he said it was 14. What is it? Doesn't matter. Yeah, we got the yeah, parking lot. Let's make a difference. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. You know him too. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know a whole lot of people. <laughs> so, we will be able to dance at camp out on a ski ball field. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, just the layout that you have, you know, it's it's absolutely terrific. And coming in, plenty of parking, plenty of room for oh, people yeah. just to hang out and have a good time. So, so, uh, so uh, yeah. Very so, cool. He has a beer and wine license now. Oh, really? Yeah. Look, oh, look, wow. oh, look at him smile. What's going on? So, with this? <laughs> so basically, what what they did though is actually he created a speedball field called the Freedom Field, and what he did was he actually got sponsors to sponsor all the bunkers, but he let all the vets in for free. All the all you know anybody that had any any problems like he he just created this amazing thing. It's still even up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They still do it. Yeah. Jamie cool. Conley asked to stick you there. You know, Jamie, um, we talked about you earlier because we had some of the. The young guns out here. Hey, Ooh. great meeting you. Very good meeting you, sir. Hey, good to see you again, man. But yeah, we had uh, some of the young guns out here, and I had to mention you, Jamie, you and uh, Mark Gong, uh, about what you guys really do to really work hard to build this sport with the young guns. So, you know, I first of all, I appreciate you watching today because it's kind of a, a shot in the dark thing here, but uh, you got nothing but respect for me and you got nothing but respect from an awful lot of people. We're going to start too. another game. Sorry to interrupt. Are you? Yeah, so I'm going to go and, and do some work. Good luck, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, Todd, I appreciate it very much. Good to see you. We'll be back. Right on. We'll be here, buddy. We'll be here. Right on. Appreciate it very much. Jump in here. Hey, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, going good, man. Your name? Woo! What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Vinsky. I'm the promoter of Endgame 2. I started this uh, last year. I'm also the promoter for Cartel Wars. Uh, we get out here in the Central Coast. We get crazy. We got smoke bombs. We got grenades, launchers. We got first strike rounds. We got people with with the pump guns, with the mag fed guns, with the box mags, with everything goes around here. This is the craziest game on the West Coast. Hey, but you can only do how many how many per person? Uh, three hundred rounds. Three hundred rounds, you guys. Three hundred rounds. Have, so you can have like a box in the CP of all your paint, but on the body, 
Yeah, 300 rounds only on the body. That way, if you have a lecture and you want to be full auto and just shoot your 300 rounds, then you got to run back to command post, reload, and run back on the field. Now, see, that makes sense with the auto. So you can't get go out there and spray and free is what I call it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, so, that we, uh, I'm a mechanical guy. You know, I love all the markers. I think they're all pretty cool, but I, I'm a mechanical guy or a pump guy. You know, one or the other. Yeah. So that, that's kind of how it is. Real so, quick, I want to uh, mention Chica Strada. Uh, Chica's uh, one of the guys that, that watches the show all the time. Very terrific guy. Another great guy for paintball. And I, I push all the good guys for paintball. That's the, the whole ticket for me is building the sport. And you don't build it with jerks. You build it with great, great people. And uh, that's who I hang with, and that's who I love. So right on, Chico. Appreciate you watching, chiming in, buddy, very, very much. So, Chico! Chico! Dude, hey, listen. Come on around here. Come here. Oh, hey, so, come on. so listen. Good. Listen. Nice to finally meet you. I've been playing for 35 years. I've been watching you on the magazine. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Nice to finally see you. Yeah. So, okay. listen. Let him tell. I'm a native. Not, not, not with feathers though. Oh. Know, he's actually a Tascadero San Luis. This is it. He was born and raised here. He's been playing paintball here since the beginning of time. Really? Okay. Hey, I, I, what I want to do is, everybody, whenever anybody comes on my show, you got to give them your name, and then you got to tell us how you got started in paintball. Because you know, believe it or not, including me, I love to hear how people got going on. You know, it just uh, it intrigues me. How did you get started? I know how you got started. <laughs> so, go ahead. Your name first. Yeah, my name is Seth Howard. And Can you move up again? Get around the mic. Yeah, there you go. My name is Seth Howard. Been playing since uh, 1986. And the very first game that I did, we were able to rent a PGP from the local surplus store. Me and a buddy went out and played with a bunch of other adults that were playing uh, in a riverbed in the Tascadero. And then uh, from that point, it was pure adrenaline junkie. I had to get a paper out to get my own gun and every single weekend. So let me back up just a minute here. You went and rented it? We had to rent a PGP because there weren't even you know, no paintball shops around in the area back in the day. So the only place you could get paint or even buy a gun was a, a surplus store. Oh, my goodness. So you rented it. How amazing. So then, obviously, you went out and you got hooked. Oh, yeah, 100%. First game. First game got lit up. You know, I was like, all right, this is awesome. But <laughs> my camouflage got ruined because it was all oil-based orange paint yep. back then. I so. remember all of it. So, yeah, I think, what's even worse than that, we had a, I was on a team called the Muffs. And it was a specialty team put up a bunch of manufacturers and stuff years ago. And then they, the girls put together, Jessica Sparks put together a team called the Puffs. Well, we were at a tournament, and they made special paint for them. It had uh, perfume in the balls. Wow. <laughs> oh, my. You couldn't even wash it out. You had to, I mean, we washed our clothes like 10 times before you couldn't smell it. Yeah. So you knew when you were hit for about two weeks. <laughs> listen, listen to this. Listen to this. Yeah. Joined the army, right? Yeah. And in the army, they had, they were doing paintball. So he went every weekend all over the East Coast playing paintball. He was all, he all the tournaments everywhere from Alabama to Oklahoma, I mean, the, 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 all, anything in the South and North. It's right? paintball association. Really? Yeah. Wow. So you've been pretty involved in it then. Yeah, I have. Uh, and then when, when I got out of the army, I was still living on the East Coast of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And I was working at Paintball Central with okay. Lane and. Uh, uh, oh boy, Rob oh from uh, Image. Uh -huh. yeah. They were the ones running Paintball Central. I was one of the head refs up there running stuff for them. Being the cannon fodder when Image would come through, you know, I wasn't on the pro team, but I played, you know, against them all the time, skirmishes and practices. So you've worked a lot of years since promoting the sport. Oh, yeah. You know, see, and before uh, Dave owned this, his brother Gary had owned it. And so I was out here head ref running stuff out here as well. Oh, is that right? Yeah. And then I got married, had kids, and couldn't play for a number of years and now I'm back. So very, very cool. You know, it's you know, that's what I try to tell everybody, you know, it's it's the good people that build a sport because you can be the best player in the world out on the field. But if you step off the field and you're a jerk, you do nothing for our sport. You only do it for yourself and not to build a sport. So, you know, very, very cool. Uh, so listen, yeah, yeah. Wait, come on. We, I just, I just installed the wide angle lens. Now we oh, now I can in. fit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take him off the screen, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone, anyone that's why he has no friends. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, good meeting you. Very, very much. Or can you? Uh, yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. Cut. Okay. Yeah. Gladiator. You see that? Okay. So, so who are you? So I'm Chong with the MFL. Okay. 
Tom, how'd you get started? Chong, 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 Chong. John, I'm sorry. Listen, how'd you get started? Like Tommy Chong. I got this in. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> let, me just, let me just do this. Let me preface this, right? We have about three or four, actually now two, of our West Coast promoters, right? Okay. Okay. Chong is one of our primary, primary uh, West Coast promoters, but... Now he's branched out all the way to all, all through the United States. Oh, really? He's actually doing oh, games cool. throughout the whole United States. And Mexico. And that. Mexico, right? Yeah, because, you know, back in the day, they, they used to fly me all over to do the big games. And, you know, I love big games. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I got to tell you, I'm a, I'm a big game guy because, you know, what do you got to lose? Nothing. Exactly. You know, big deal. You're doing right. just to make friends, have a good time, get the heck shot out. You know, it just is what it is. Let so. the fly. Yeah. <laughs> So how'd you get started in paintball, buddy? So originally I started back when I was 12 years old and uh, I took some time off. And about five years ago, I was looking for a hobby because work was getting too stressful. And uh, I just started getting back into paintball. Went to the field one time, saw some MagFed players and fell in love with that style and just went all out MagFed. You're a big MagFed now, huh? Yes. Yeah, I'm up. I'm more up north up by uh, San Francisco on the other side, San Francisco. Very popular up there. Oh, yeah. Very, very popular. It's, it's, it's growing a lot and. uh it absolutely is. What's Kiko got going over there? Hold tight, guy. I don't want you going over there. No problem. We got a remote. I, yeah. yeah. I'm Kiko, up here, man, Fred. You're live. What you got I'm going up, on, buddy? I'm up on. They have a tower up here, as you oh, can wow. see. So you can have wine and cheese up here and enjoy the scenic view of Gladiator Paintball down here, San Luis Obispo. Yeah, and it ain't my view. fault. Look at that field. It's not my fault that it took us long that long to get here. Uh, yeah, it's your fault. Listen, uh, listen. What you guys are looking, what you guys are seeing is actually rather unique. What uh, what Bobby did was create a two-story building that actually is netted in, so all the family and friends can. They don't need to wear a mask. They can go up there, they can drink, and they can actually watch the games as they're happening. I know he he, he said that he put that together, you know, so older people. I thought that was so cool. Yeah, it's and he's well. He's got a chair for you, Fred. You see the chair? Uh, oh, a chair. they got a chair? Oh, no, does it does It comes it up the staircase. <laughs> yeah. Does it it, it, yes. They, it's one of those chairs that, like, it's like an elevator, like an elevator, oh, right? The chair oh. Yeah, but it even got a hole in it, too, just in case you get excited. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because of the speed going up. I know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I might go right that anyhow. There it is. Look at that. Look at me. Kind of chair. You know, I'm Fred You need one of these, Fred. That is so cool. Now, how many paintball fields do you see that has something like that for people to come and enjoy to go up there and do that? That is so cool. For people like Fred. For people like me, that's right. That's right. Yeah, the I new could, face. I can uh, make it up there, but I keep tripping on the stairs of my walker. So, you know, I mean, it's been out of work. God, you're giving me a headache. Oh, oh, you're loving it. I see you over there writing all this stuff down. You can use it. <laughs> you can use it. <laughs> I don't want to hear about it. Yeah. 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 Next week's cast. <laughs> like yes, Tom. it. <laughs> my kind of guy right here. <laughs> He's got right lights on, set up on. for uh, lights set up for air ball. He's got two air ball courses, a hyper ball pipe field. Uh, yeah, he's got a lot going on here. I'm gonna get on the field yeah, later. Cool. Hey, you know what, um, Kiko, if you're out wandering around, which I know you like doing, um, see if you can get a hold of the owner and get him, uh, drag him over here so we can do an interview with him. Uh, I'll, I'll check my schedule. Yeah, check your schedule, and if it fits, you yeah, know, I'm a busy guy, I'm a busy guy. I know you're busy. Oh, oh, busy. I'm sorry. I know you're busy. Guys. Yeah. No problem. Talk to the hand. Yeah, talk to the hand. Yeah, right My name is what? Tag you, tag you in. Tag you in. All right, Kiko. Get in here. Get in here. Right well, bye then. Keith, Keith yeah, Kitchell right a, there. I need a real wide angle. Right. <laughs> yeah. Can I go now? So, yeah, you can go now. Can I'm find still on. Why am I yeah. still on? Dude, All right, buddy. You stop no, you're stop off drinking, now. Fred. Fred, you got to stop drinking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why? So, who do we have? Where are you from? Braden, Riverside. Riverside? <laughs> Riverside? Yeah, I know there's no river there, right? There's no, I've never seen a river in Riverside. There is. You're just on the wrong side. I've never side. seen a river there you're in on Riverside. on the wrong side. No, exactly. Something's wrong with you. you got to go. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you're from where? San Diego. 
Yeah. From near Pomona, Pomona, California. Uh, we came up together. The gentleman just came up with a couple teammates, and I brought some people up from New York just to make an experience happen. Yeah, this was from last year when they switched colors. So, Yalkin. Yalkin. I love Yalkin. Good stuff. Yalkin. My buddy. My buddy. Gino's my buddy. You know that. I love everybody. I love everybody. Yeah. Yeah, so do I actually. I like everybody. So, too. first, got a question for you guys. Shoot. Real quick, start with you. All right. Your name and how did you get started in paintball? My name is Glenn James Taylor. I got started in paintball when I was working in a Played Against Sports back about 99, 2000. We had a vendor coming in trying to cover or carry paintball gear, and the owner said no. So, I talked him into getting a, an account so that way we can get cheap stuff at cost. <laughs> so, I started out with a, a bruiser. A spider knockoff, and then I instantly fell in love with a phantom. Oh. And I played pump only for years. Yeah, Mike Cassidy is a very good friend of mine. He's oh, he's. A, he's been a friend I, of mine. I've met him twice at his shop. Love and that man. He's a friend great. of mine for a lot of years. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. Oh, yeah, yeah, I gotta get the next round started here. Great to meet you. Great to meet you guys. Talk to you guys soon. Definitely will. All right, my pleasure. So yes, I've been in for about 20 something years now. I don't look that old. I oh, just turned oh. 43. Wow. Yeah. That made me feel good. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is my, uh, my nephew here. Come on over here, buddy. Nice to meet you. Yep. What's your name? What's that? Braden Price. What? Braden. Braden, Braden Price. Cool How long have you been playing paintball, Braden? Probably like six months. Six months? Yeah. What do you think of this field? Pretty cool, huh? Like it, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this, is a, this is a premier field over here. This is... Uh, this is I, I you know I got to pull uh, calf muscle otherwise I would have loved to play this thing today. But this is outstanding. When I was driving in, I'm like, wow, what a cool feel this is. You know all the layouts and stuff. There's like a gazillion places to hide out there. And you know the older you get, the more places you look to hide. For sure, for sure. Or you look for very large guys to play behind. You know, it's yeah. 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 So, you gotta love it. Yeah, I, I got Braden into it with a bachelor party game back in like May. Uh -huh. And then just went wildfire. He did Decay Nations. He's done the PBSL attorney with these guys. Did uh, what was the last event we went to? Very cool. Yeah, we've done done quite a few. Yeah, it's been very, very great. Cool. It's been great. Now we're here at Gladiator. This place is awesome. Right on. Well, we've got the, the Fred, it was Gladiator. a pleasure. It's my pleasure. It's mine. See out there. Thank yeah, you. likewise. Very good meeting you. Nice uh, to meet you. He, he said you, could, you probably can't hit him. So. Yeah. Uh, again. Yeah. Oh, again. Again. Oh, you, you, doing, you doing pistol competitions, by the way? Yes. Let's, do Let's go. It's I'm on, ready when on. you are, I sir. Got, I got a back full of patches. It's on. Right it's on. on. I'm ready okay. when you are. Okay. Now, let's bring in the owner of this terrific wow. field. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it is. It's uh, it's absolutely great. You know, thank you. I, we've interviewed quite a few people since we've been sitting here. We're having a riot. Good. They love this field. Awesome. Love it. Love to hear it. Yep. But tell us a little bit about it, you know, because, I, I mean, I know it's 10 acres. Yeah, we got that. Beautiful but San Luis Obispo, California. You've got so much in this 10 acres, and it's so cool. We do. We crammed this. Uh, and the RC Park's coming in. Oh, well, I, I, I mean, you just you got you got the different fields. You yeah. got the great parking, and I see you got trailers, so people are camping and stuff out here. Yes, dry camping. Yep, we yep. do. Dry, we have camping, and then if you're tent camping, what we do is we also have an astroturf field, which is our speedball field. When I do a large event like like this, in games, cartel wars, um, stuff like that. We don't do we don't put the field up and I blow it out real good so it's nice and clean and comfortable. So you can put tents out there. So the guys are they're tent camping out there uh this weekend. The last time we did Cartel Wars, one of the guys brought a video screen and they watched the the, the UCF the UFC fights because we got Wi Fi all around the place. So you know, everybody and I got power and you know, that's another thing I was gonna bring up too, because you know, I mean obviously it takes Wi Fi to run what we're doing right now and it mm -hmm. takes power to run what we're doing right now. You had this set up for me in 10 minutes. I can't even begin to tell you how much it's, I appreciate it. It's that. taking me a while to get there, but yeah, we did. Yeah. We've got we've got power pretty much all over the place. I've got some lights in some strategic places. I've got on the um, jelly ball field, I've got black lights so I can do night go on the dark jelly ball games, which right. is a hoot. Yeah, oh, it's um, unreal. Yeah. You use the gel blasters for that? I don't use gel blasters. I use jelly ball. Okay. So the uh, guys out of Texas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Tank's outfit. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, Tank John. Yeah, his name is John Tankerly, but I call him the Tank. Yeah, yeah, he's a, a, a terrific person. He really, really is. Those so, guys are great. Yeah. So what, this is a big event, obviously. When's the next event out here now? We're already working on next year. So we, everything's pretty much. Tracy's got my my beautiful wife's got the uh, schedule already up and running. But we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do Cartel Wars again. We've got an event in April. We've got an event, um, so you have to check the website to see exactly what's out there. We want to put, so I'm just a field owner. I'm a lonely field owner. Um, Don't look so lonely around here. You know, I just need, <laughs> I need groups that want to come out and do an event. Let me know. It's literally as easy as that. So, so uh, listen, real quick, uh, they, they just get online then? Um, GladiatorPB.com. Right? Look it up. And then, yes, if you're interested in doing an event, which... Ivan, who's brought a couple of people over here, have introduced me to several different guys in the MAGFET, in the um, uh, PBSL division, you know, your pump guys, all that kind of fun stuff to where I'm like, let's do an event. So we do PBSL now with Todd and with, um, uh, I'm losing my mind, um, what's his name in the northern side, and he's going to kill me. Um, <laughs> no problem. Yeah, I'm hey, horrible with names. Well, yeah. you know what, we're all so listen, I pulled up today, yeah. and we're finding parking, and he goes, listen, not only do we have our event, he's got 13 birthday parties, right? This guy is killing it. I know. This stuff. We talked to one of the kids in the birthday party. Uh, cool. You know, the guy running <laughs> around. Right? Yeah, 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 very yeah. cool. Yeah, I had Kiko go up, and, and we talked to the kid for a little bit, and he yeah. said his mom brought him out here and stuff. Yeah. Yep. What a better way for a kid to have a birthday. Come well, on. What great. I like about that is it it introduces kids to, because we do, we do jelly ball, paintball light, paintball. Right. Paintball light, eight year old, 10 year old, right. 10 and above. Let's start moving into the big leagues. Right. Let's get into paintball. Very so nice. it's like, yeah, I want to get them started young, whether it's jelly ball, real, really young, or paintball light. And then they get, it's funny, they start getting these parties. And they're like, oh, no paintball light again? When can I move to paintball? <laughs> and then they move up. So yeah, it's like when you started with paintball. Yeah. You oh. know, but well, how that's, fast did you want to move up? That's a whole other yeah. story because I bought this place in 2020, right, right before COVID. Oh, yeah. And so yeah. I came home one day and I said, told, told my wife, I said, do you want to buy a paintball pack? She goes, no. <laughs> and she's a nurse. She's been a nurse for 20-something plus years. You know this guy, right? I, don't, I know that clown. Yeah, good, around, around, good to see you, bud. Yeah. Um, and she goes, no. And I go, I'll get you out of nursing. She goes, yes. <laughs> and then COVID hit. Dude. Oh, so yeah. Now. So she's still nursing, <laughs> and we were close for eight weeks for COVID, but now we're back up. Everything's good. We yeah. never had an issue with it, looks like other than being close. Looks like it's rocking right now. You know, it's good. Yeah. It's fun. It's good. Yeah, we got a good group of core people that play these crazy clowns right here walking around yeah. doing yeah. the PBSL, the old school love pump it, yeah. guys. Absolutely I love, love that. Sarah right there with her pop. So um, this is not just a paintball party. Right? No, it's airsoft. We do airsoft every Sunday. Right. I do airsoft every Saturday and Sunday, but my airsoft group is huge. Right. And so they came together and they go, let's play every Sunday. So not only does our parties and paintball in it, but airsoft is like airsoft Sunday. Right. So 25 plus kids come out on Sundays, usually anywhere between 20 and 50 people on Sunday just playing airsoft. Wow. You know, I would add a meeting place for a lot of good friends too, because I see a lot of people out here that know each other that are yeah. out, here, out here to play. And you know, what, what better way to spend a day than to come out. I mean, well, this, this paintball like, park well, is amazing. you saw the tower, right? I, I see, yeah. So the tower I cannot was, believe you had lifts going up there. Oh, I have to um, be ADA compliant, oh, Fred. Ma how many fields <laughs> have that? I'm like, oh right. my God. You have to be ADA compliant. So right. yes. Um, so we've got, we've got the, uh, we've got a bar. Well, you're have a beer and wine, right? Beer and wine, okay. yes. We've got ax throwing. Yes. We're well, doing the remote control. Yes. We're, we're doing a jump house, right? There's bounce house. Bounce house, bounce house for, the for the kids. Wow. As well. This yep. is an entertainment center, you guys. When you come here, like if you don't want to do paintball, if you don't want to do airs, whatever, there's something for everybody. It's just an amazing place to come. Absolutely. And it's, it's it's amazing. It's only three hours from Los Angeles. It's just a, a, this it's is worth the drive. It's yeah. what it is. It's yeah. worth the drive. You know, you can go play paintball. You know, you can drive an hour and go to a field that is just so so and suck. You know, I'd rather drive, take a little time, drive to a field that I know is going to be exciting, have a lot of fun, right. and is properly run, and which is yeah, is properly run. That. Yeah, it is. Period. So I'm just know. a field owner. Have a reason to do an event talk to me but for for anybody that's that's wife or girlfriend or maybe the husband doesn't like paintball and she does she right. comes and plays mora bay is 
seven miles up the road. Not exactly. Far, right? Pismo is right? eight miles that Avila way. Beach, right? Avila Beach is six miles that way. Yeah. You can go to beach points and be at the beach. Very centrally located to a lot of yeah. cool Here's, here's what's things. cool about Bobby. Bobby's in the real estate business, right? Mm -hmm. But he was in uh, Illinois. No, uh, Oklahoma. No, uh, Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia, right? <laughs> you, cover, you only have three states. He's out of Atlanta, Georgia. Then you come to the Central Coast, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to try to make a new life here. Yep. And then, bam, you go like this. He has been so amazing with the paintball community. We're a bunch of crazy people, right? Very all of a sudden, true. He didn't know anything about them, right? And all of a sudden, bam, now he's jumping in. He's You should see when he, he says his uh, safety briefings. He's not, this guy, he's just, he drank the Kool-Aid. Well, he's very, he's very impersonal. Not you really? know, I mean, I mean, not not to have your heads fall because I don't want to butcher someone. No, but I got you know, paypal. Yeah. Everybody in paypal is crazy. Yeah, well, yeah so well, I feel, we all know that. Right that's why we're here. Right that's, why, that's why we're so happy with each other. You know, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Was so, it this year or last? When did we get the uh, the Greg Hastings thing? Was it this year? Uh, Gre Greg Hastings, the Hitman Time Trial came in last year, and in fact, we've got an event Greg next week. Next week, we're doing uh, the Time Trial Challenge. It's up at one of the parks in Northern California. So of course. Mine is a setup just like theirs. So anytime somebody does an event, we do one here as well. And, that, you know, that way they can compete against each other. Yeah, and that's mean, the coolest thing. I about. was with Greg Hastings and Bud Orr a while back. Uh, they mm -hmm. came down and uh, we did a shout, shoot because uh, Bud and I are going to be in the new video he's got yep. coming out. So, so all right, we had, so when we opened this up uh, yep. last year, we had an event. We did it here and the winners are also in that video. My yep. daughter's in it. Yep. Right. Um, and there was 10 people from our park that are in it. Very so it's cool. very right. cool. So yep. you guys come Greg's out and check guy. this thing out. It's amazing. Yeah, you de definitely want to do it. You know, and what I'd like to do is um, I want you to get a hold of me. When you have an event coming up, get sure. a hold of me, you know, you six, eight weeks ahead of time. You got it. You come on live. Okay. In fact, I'm probably going to put you on in the next few weeks anyhow. Just to talk right after Christmas. Let's do it. Um, because, you know, I, I'm going to have other people on that. We're at this event here today, and that's what I like to do is I like to rekindle some of the things that, that went on here. Sure. You know? And good I, and everybody, bad. Everybody I've talked to is like, well, good. Ah, has been a great Well, yeah, time, good you know? and bad, so, too. No it's bad like, people. well, if there's anything that, there's you know, no it's like, what did you not like? Uh, what yeah, kind of, is know, there something I can do different? Here's the bad, here's the good. Yeah. Come on, you it's know, always, you know, it's always amazing. It's all good. You're not good. Otherwise, we'd have to call you God. Yeah. No. That is definitely not. Maybe the other way, but not that way. I would be seeing you not started, that way, yeah, maybe that way. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. So, hey, yeah. Do another shot. Yeah. Uh, put it on. Let's right, do it. I'll do one on, yeah. on we're we're on the air. Might we're, as well do it. Yeah. I'm you not know, scared. We, we get most, most of you to come on this, we'll come on tomorrow night. That's uh, right. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool to make it a bit. We are live right now, but most people, you know, mm -hmm. want, read about yeah. different countries, they watch my show. Very cool. So um yeah, we should uh well I've heard a lot about you. It was nice. I think you finally got got to come out i've known david here for at, long at you least the park. two yeah since i own the park and he's a great promoter you. of the sport yeah. i appreciate I you. you guys they said you came back into the sport and all that kind of fun stuff so it's like i don't know where you were before but welcome back sir Gold driving. and then oh there see there's always some in the group that you would, i love it you know good lord yeah sombrero it. let me do i need to get my gun i love it look see he'll get all excited <laughs> i'm gonna get my gun <laughs> right on. Cheers. Cheers. Well, thank you very much for coming over and doing the Absolutely. interview with us. Um, Thanks for coming you're, out. You're more than welcome anytime on my show, but in a few weeks, I'm going to get a hold of you and we're going to put you back on. We're going to, and some of the other people are sure. out here today. I, I'm going to even pull David, David up. Uh, we'll see what happens. He's very hard to get a hold of. You know, he's, well, you know, I go, a, I go, David, where he's at, what state he's in, what country he's in. I go, David, can, can you come on my show? He goes, no, 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 Fred. He goes, my people got to talk to your people. Exactly. And then they got to talk to somebody else. Yeah, you got to get the paper signed and all that. I got a cardboard man. Just put it up. We can use that, too. That's good. That's a better That's a better. Right. It is because right. he doesn't say much. You, you and when he does, it's good. Stop. Keep on going. Ah, yeah, so it works out. Thank you there you go. All right. Well, thanks for coming out. Oh, it's my yep. pleasure. Very, very much. Guys, and, appreciate uh, you coming out. All right, everybody. Um, that was a special. Hey, hold tight a second here. Oh, he's running. Yeah. <laughs> but see, that's a, that's the owner, man. He's nice. Move, move, move. I'll Anyhow, be there in yeah. a minute. I'll give rules. I'll Sorry. clean the toilet in a minute. <laughs> I want to thank everybody that tuned in uh, today, and I want to thank everybody that uh, came and uh, had an interview with us. I definitely want to thank Mr. David Justin. Nice um, David and I, uh, David and I, have been talking for a long, long time. This is the first time I've actually got to sit next to him and, nice. and meet him. It's been pretty cool, huh? It's been cool. It's, I think it's the weather. That's why. 
Cool. It's See? nice. It's a, it's a great day. Oh, you pick up on that stuff. Hey, you know, yeah. I, th- I throw I throw them softballs. You I know, just right out of the park. Yeah. yeah. yeah no, actually, it's about what sixty cents. Sixty eight. Sixty eight yeah. degrees here, you guys. It's amazing. The Central Coast. I grew up here. Amazing place. I love this place. Bam yeah. party tonight. See, California. Oh well, yeah. The, 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 uh, party tonight? the uh, what's it called? The side hustle. The side hustle, right? Which is me. Yeah. And my band. Yeah. So we sound really good. Yeah. The more you drink. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, that's part of yeah. Gotta have fun. That's what my wife says about me too. The better I look, the more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She goes, she goes I'm about a six pack away from loving you. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> exactly. So anyhow, please, um, you know, check this out later on. Uh, and Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Pacific time, on Flagpole Productions on Facebook. Please. Here, you can go oh, to, check uh, it out. Check it out. See you soon. <laughs> check go it to out. Shoeyousoon.com if you want to see who I am. There you yeah. go. If you don't know who oh, I am. Oh, yeah. Everybody. Gladiatorpb.com. For Gladiator, Gladiator Paintball Park. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we'll be talking about Gladiator Paintball Park quite Appreciate a bit it. now. You know, What's I. What's uh, Geo Magfit? How are you? I'm very, very happy about it, too. Nice. Absolutely. Geo, what's going on, buddy? Larry Taylor, what's going on? Thanks for watching, bud. All right, everybody. So remember, Tuesday evening, 7 o'clock Pacific time on Facebook on Flagpole Productions. Till then, please. You want to say goodbye real quick? I know you, you have your little say so goodbye. Do I'm it. a bit shy. Yeah. Uh, well, come on your show just for a minute. Hey, so if you want to check out my show, you just have to follow me because I don't have a scheduled time. Whenever my guests are available, that's when we do the show. But you guys just go to, uh, if you just type in Reaper Paintball, look, I own the world. If you just there type you in, just Google Reaper Paintball, you'll see who I am. That's right. And everybody knows who I am. So I love you guys. I really, really do. I thank you so much for watching. Until then, please play hard, play Thank safe, you. play fair, but get out there and play paintball. Game Gladiator on. Park, baby. Game on.